Hello, people. Oh shit. Right. No. No. That's not gonna work. No. No. That's not happening. I tried it. I tried it. So as you guys can tell, I have literally no voice. And this is mainly due to the fact of me playing GTA last night with my friends and some words were said very aggressively. So yeah, I have no voice right now. So I I have a little bit, but I'm not uh, not enough for this fucking piece of shit. But I'm gonna try to work with me. I'm gonna try to work with it. Me and Ever are gonna try to give you guys a quality review and this is the first movie review in the set of movie reviews which I promise you guys which was movies that I did not see in 2019 that I missed and we're starting off with a bang <laughs> Black Christmas 2019 or Blumhouse's Black Christmas Bang is a very kind of <laughs> I'm trying to make it where do we start? Like, Where do we start? Yeah. First of all, okay, let's start by saying this. We're going full spoilers because this movie's irrelevant, this movie's a piece of shit, and nobody gave a shit to yeah. see it. It's so, horrible. full spoilers. So, I guess we're gonna start with the biggest thing, and that's like, this movie is literally a feminist movie if I've ever seen it. Yeah. yeah. It very it much caters to... to all the, all the feminists, feminists right now, now like, like the, the third, third wave, wave of just the like pieces if you guys if you guys have, thought right, that everything. like if you guys thought that the thing with Captain Marvel was bad in terms of how like in your face the feminism was wait till you see this movie this movie literally it, it cranks up to 13. It cranks every up to 13. like every line of dialogue is just oh I hate men I hate men 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 suck mm -hmm. so much and it's like like don't get me wrong, maybe maybe that's not my demographic, but that doesn't mean you make a movie like that. That's not how you do it. If you're gonna make something like that, you turn it into something clever. Like think yeah. about like Scream Three. I listen, me and Evan don't like Scream Three. It is easily the oh, worst yeah. Scream movie. But remember how in Scream Three, how the black guy every time he made a joke, it was like, oh, I'm getting out of here because the black guy always dies first. That's funny. That's, That's funny. funny. It's actually kind of funny. funny. And it's clever in the way that they did it in Scream 3. Now, he eventually dies in Scream 3, but it's still funny the way they did it. You gotta think of something that's clever. You can't just sit here and make every single line of dialogue just bashing men. Because that's not making a movie at that point. At that point, you're just embarrassing yourself. What is the yeah, point? The scares in this movie, oh my god, it's the most generic horror movie jump scares I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, yeah like, like, I was I just sitting the entire, the entire time, time. I, actually I actually was a Loki about to sleep. Oh yeah, the movie's the really movie. boring. The movie is so boring. My god, is the, the jump movie scares boring. were not helping at all. I was just like, like alright, right, three, three, two, two one, one, jump, jump scare, scare. alright, right, we're gonna keep it keep moving. moving. And they're like, like the other people around me were like, I'm assuming they've never seen uh, Black Christmas before, like the original Black Christmas. Which is a classic, by the way. Fun fact, it's the uh, very first slasher film that, uh, my first person, you could argue Halloween or Black Christmas, but... No, it's factual evidence that Black Christmas is the first slasher. Sla like, Black Christmas oh, is the first one, but Halloween was the first one that was really popular, which I find funny yeah. because both movies are based off holidays. Yeah. But, you know, but, um... But, of how good it was, I mean, even... The, the, this, this, the 2019, 2019 version, makes the 2006, 2006 remaster look good. The, two like thousand, that, the 2006 version, it's not terrible for me. It's like, the first two acts are, like, entertaining enough. The third act goes off yeah. the rails, though. Like, the third act goes really yeah, that's crazy. Where I, that's, that's where I lost, lost it with that movie. I'm like, like okay, okay, nope. It's nope. not, not terrible, terrible, but, but meh. meh. You can't but, get any worse than that. You know, but then, first of all, I, I'm like, just like, <laughs> Blumhouse is, you know what I find funny? Blumhouse did remakes of Halloween and Black Christmas. 
and both, both screwed, screwed it up. up. No, but this movie was way worse than Halloween because at least oh, Halloween, Halloween did justice to Michael Myers and it did justice to Laurie Schrode. But the the problem with Halloween was the fact that, like, it was just like so many decisions in that movie were just awful. Yeah. You know, but. With Black Christmas, it was like they totally threw out the story of the original movie. You know what I felt? Oh Jesus! Not, you know what I felt? Not really. Not really though. though. Well, it still takes place, place in like, like a, a, the sorority house. house. Yeah, but in terms of the like the thing with the cult, that wasn't in the original, right? That was, that was never, never a thing. thing. That was yeah. never, never even. even well, actually, actually, 2006 one might have had something. Had I don't remember. It. It's been a long time. No, I'm at movie. this point. I'm not, I'm not talking about the remake. I, the re the remake is irrelevant to me at this point. I'm talking about I'm, the original. I'm bringing it up because that's what I'm referring to. Like as oh, a remake. No. Yeah, I think the original had that, but but um. <clears throat> yeah, cool. I'm pretty sure they something along the lines of that. Or am I thinking of Saul? I don't know. The Probably only the only thing this movie keeps respect to is the fact that it takes place at a sorority. That's really it. Other that, that, than that, this this and movie. And there are some cameos. cameos. Um, the uh, yeah, the, the bobblehead Santa, Santa thing, thing that, that was, was in the nineteen uh, seventy four film. film I'm pretty yeah, sure. and they yeah, the they bobble, did the I, I, the bad kill. Oh, that's answered in the movie. movie. It was just like. They, they actually, actually paid homage, homage and they, and they put, put the, the original, original fucking bobblehead in there. Man, I, was I was freaking the fuck out. out. <laughs> no one else was. Well, yeah, because look at the demographic for this movie. The demographic for Blumhouse movies is nothing but fucking dumbass teenagers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but the there was another Easter egg where I was like, wow, like that was so original when they fucking did the 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 bag kill. Or when they tried to do the bad kill. Yeah, yeah that, that was. was just, uh, I was like, wow, you're so you're so inventive. I was like, just stop it at also, that point. Might I add? This has absolutely, absolutely nothing, nothing to do with, with uh, the original uh, killer, too. <clears throat> so they. First of all, I want to talk about one positive I had with this movie. Believe it or not, there was a positive. The main actress was okay for what she was doing. Yeah. She's a good actress in general, but she was okay in this movie. I'll, honestly, all the acting wasn't too bad for me. Like, I've seen worse. Honestly, uh, listen, I, I'm gonna be straight honest. I hated this movie, but the acting in this movie could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. It, it could have been, been like Fantasy worse. Island, honestly. But I'm not gonna sit here and complain about the acting. It's just <clears throat> the characters are so paper thin, and every character's motivations is just shaved down to I hate men. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Main, Main character is the uh, thing was since she was raped during a party. I didn't mind that. I was like, okay, that's. Pr I mean, I was I annoyed. I was annoyed because, in the sense that, how many times are we gonna see? Oh, I was raped and now it's haunting me. How many times are we gonna see that? There's so many. They just. I was watching Friday the Thirteenth Part Three and they did it in that movie. But and another positive I will say, I don't know if you remember the kill Nintendo when. She goes into the house, right, and she's looking for the cat, but the, the camera is like, it doesn't oh. move. Oh, I remember this. First of all, they copied off The Exorcist 3, which... Pretty, pretty much, much, yeah. But <laughs> much. I will say this, it was the best kill in the movie. Yeah. I, I was waiting that. for them to do something like that, but, you know, it was the best kill in the movie, but when you really think about it, you're like, oh, well, it was the best kill, but you took it from something else. So, you took from the act the Exorcist, which was decent horror movie. Exorcist three, yeah, not, not. the first Exorcist is a classic. Oh yeah, it is. But like, I was the third one. Yeah, that's, yeah. Might I add, I got a little bit of uh, what was it, Blair Witch vibe almost on that kill, a little bit. Eh. I guess. A part of me was thinking, thinking that, that, for that for some reason. reason. I don't know why. I was like, why does it seem like Blair Witch? 
I don't know. The, the, the movie is just... There was... Other than that, other than those two positive, I said, there's really nothing in this movie. All the kills are so generic. Like Christmas lights. <clears throat> Yeah, honestly, if you're gonna make if you're gonna make a Christmas if you're gonna make a Christmas theme horror movie, at least be fun with it. Had like the only creative kill in terms of that was the kill when the girl got killed by an icicle, and even if that was so lame because it was there was no blood, <clears throat> it was literally just stab and that's it. Other than that, yeah. I just it was. The, the kills were so PG-13 fight and you know that's not an issue because the movie's PG-13 you can have good yeah. kills in a PG-13 horror movie yeah but my issue is the fact that it's so toned down like have fun with it that's my biggest issue with James with uh, Blumhouse's movies they don't know how to have fun even Truth or Dare, Truth or Dare should have been Truth or Dare should have been the most campiest movie ever, and it was so serious. All you have to do is know how to have fun. Make like a silly movie, like Scream. Make it where it's funny. Scream is our, one of our favorite horror movies of all time, and it's one of the most silliest horror movies of all time. Why? Because it knows what it is. Yeah, it's just pretty much irony that carried the entire thing. It's just amazing. One of the best Except scenes. One of the best scenes in Scream is the scene where Randy explains all the rules to a horror movie. It's one of the funniest scenes ever. Yeah, it's just a complete irony, and that's and then it just follows that pattern. One of my favorite lines. Hey, you want a beer? Yeah, sure, I'll take one. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh! Hilarious. Fucking yeah, hilarious. Really really Every fun. time I watch Scream, it is never, it never gets old. But, you know, and, and then we, okay, now we're going to get into the plot twist. So, the plot twist in this movie is that the, the cult, there's a cult that's killing these people. And they, what, what was it? They basically what they want to do is make women slaves. That's yeah, basically like, it. Like, go, go back, back to the good, good time, time and be like, like remember what feminism, feminism was on the thing? And it's like, like what? Like, what? I mean, First, wait, wait, wait. Funny. First of all, I want to go back to a scene, right? Remember the scene where they're talking about, like, they're trying to figure out what's going on and they're talking about how they how everything's getting fucked up because of what they did at the the so they made like they did a performance to basically say fuck you to the guy that raped the girl and now they start getting messages and shit and they think that it's the guys from the from the sorority and the guy, one of the girls has a boyfriend, and the guy goes, oh, what did you expect? You're starting, you're making, you made a whole fool out of everybody in that sorority. What did you think was going to happen? And then the girl goes, oh, well, we had to show them that men don't have all the power. I was like, what? Who wrote that? Yeah. yeah. Who wow. fucking who fucking wrote that? Honestly, I'm sorry if I sound horrible, but honestly, who fucking wrote that? This movie was written in pink crayon. And then okay, so now we're gonna get into the broad twist now. So then they kidnap the main character. And then they reveal that the one of her sisters from the sorority turns on her, and I was like, "What? That doesn't make any sense." And then the the cult tries to kill her, and she's like, "Oh well, I did everything for you." And then the guys basically go, "Oh well, that's tough," and they kill her. So what? Like, and there's no motivation so for why she turned on them. I was like, "So what was the point of that?" I, I didn't just, understand. This is a wild, this is like a shot in the dark, but I'm pretty sure it had the influence of... Who the fuck was the... The, 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 
the college named after? I, I, the, the, the guy, Hawthorne. I know, yeah, Halter. Halter, yeah. Like, it, like, the powers that he has, like, got into her and she turned. That's what I'm guessing, but they did a terrible job explaining it because they didn't explain it at all. I, I have no idea. The, the plot twist in this movie was almost as bad as the one from Fantasy Island. The one in Fantasy Island was worse. So at least, no, both of them don't make sense. But the one in Fantasy Island was just so out of nowhere that it, like, it was just like, what? Um, what else? And then, the if you thought the, the scene in Endgame, now I don't hate this scene. But if you thought the scene from Endgame where all the women superheroes team up and try to beat up Thanos was bad... This scene, this movie tries to replicate it in the most hilarious way ever. L literally, the, the, all of the, oh, so we didn't talk about this. So, one thing that I, another thing that I liked was when they revealed that other sororities were being attacked. I did like that. I was like, oh. I did like that too. That's kind of interesting. Um... So, this one of the sisters goes around to get all the people that are getting attacked, and they literally come back and go, You messed with the wrong sisters, and this epic music just starts playing. I was like, What? And they literally like, kill everybody. Oh, yeah, and let's not forget about the magical ooze that all of them wear on their heads. <laughs> It's like it's the, the magical, magical blood, blood that, that Hawthorne, Hawthorne had, had apparently, really, and they put on their head and they're like, like turned, and then it's like, like what, what the, the fuck, fuck is this? It oh my god, like it was just awful, man, absolutely awful. This movie, when it ended, I was like, oh my god, and then the movie just kept going and going and going and going and going. I was like, can this movie just end already? End credits, please. End credits. Like, the movie just did not want to end. I was like, oh my god, can this movie just fucking end already? And it finally ended, and 90 minutes of my life was completely wasted. Same here. Miles in the movie theater, not at home. Yeah, Lee, you pay for it. I watched it for free. Yeah. yeah. I'm but, at a loss here. You know... Guys, we we want we just want to see. It's ironic that you see you didn't hate it chapter two. I didn't like it chapter two. But it's ironic every time we fucking get on here, we talk about shit movies. We talked about it chapter two. <laughs> we talked about Rise of we Skywalker. We don't like a good movie, bro. Wait, oh, oh no! Like comes out, like comes we, gotta we gotta get, get on, on this shit, man. man. I, if it comes out this year, but you know, yeah. it, it's ironic. Hey, with Nintendo, what's the next movie we wanted to talk about? Oh, uh, Countdown. Uh, yeah, Countdown. Yeah, Countdown. <laughs> I still, I still haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I'm probably gonna, gonna watch, watch it here in a sec. Oh, um. Oh, well, I, 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 I guess. I'm gonna clip that Tyler I'm like, what, what is this? this? Well, I, I, I guess you guys are still gonna have to wait for one of those good reviews then. Because, yeah. um. You know what? I'm not gonna say how I felt about Countdown. All I said is. All I'm gonna say is just expect another review like this. Expect another movie, movie that we're gonna bash in the. Bash us in the ground, oh, man. man. <laughs> We, we do it for you. It <laughs> we do it for you guys. Um, that's gonna do it, guys. Um, look out for this week. Um, I'm gonna be reviewing Ford versus Ferrari. Oh, fuck. Tyler, we forgot something. What? The 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 human the human figure that was leading the shit with the teacher that uh, the English teacher. Oh yeah, that was so. That I completely forgot about that. That was so like. The, that teacher was so on the nose creepy. I was like, oh. No. I wasn't completely surprised at all that he was the leader. Like, well, neither did yeah, I. Saw that one coming. That was so dumb. But that. <sighs> I don't want to talk about this movie no more. Guys, this week yeah. I'm going to be reviewing Ford vs. Ferrari. I'm very excited to bring you guys that review. Hopefully, my voice does not sound like a little girl's voice. Um. And this week, also Thursday, I believe I will be streaming the demo for Resident Evil 3. 
can't fucking wait that game and best believe when that game comes out i will be streaming it 100 percent on the channel thank you guys so much and stay safe with all this bullshit going on have a good one